Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a deck profile on Gallantmon. Now this is definitely a really straightforward deck for what it is. It's just straight up all about deleting your opponent's Digimon, going for that security attack, and that's as simple as it gets. So without further ado, let's begin. Now before we get started, I would like to remind you guys to drop a like, share, and comment on this video as well. It really does help. But without being said, let's get started. So for our Digi Eggs, we're going to be playing here two copies of Gigumon from EX2. This is fantastic to allow you to draw cards when you're attacking. However, since it's not necessarily part of our core strategy, I'm only keeping it at two copies. Because the other three cards that we're playing in this deck is going to be Gigumon from the starter deck 7. This one is a really amazing one here. When your opponent's Digimon is deleted, your Digimon itself essentially just get plus 2000 DP for this turn. It's going to be very important because our Gallantmon is going to be uh, having additional security attacks. In this particular case, we don't want to be losing, or rather we can't afford to be losing all those security battles. Sure, we can lose the option cards, that's fair game. However, if we're losing in security battles with other Digimon, that's not good enough for us. You know, this deck here is focusing on power, it's focusing on security damage. So, for that reason, we gotta get any kind of advantage we can when it comes to your DP. So, let's move on to our level 3s now. I think till this very day, the best level 3 Guilemon out there is still going to be our uh, starter deck 7 Guilemon. I think this card is an amazing card. It just does so much for the deck. If your opponent has a level 6 or higher Digimon in play, you can essentially just skip all the way to Gallantmon. Sure, you had to pay 4 memory, but to go from a level 3 to a level 6 is just such a huge deal. And this card here allows us to do that. So when you're in that late game, and you just need to push ahead or you just want to get there as soon as possible and go for your attack the gallant mon is there for you by digivolving right on top of our guile mon but with that being said for our other guile mons i'm going to be playing here our ex2 guile mon so managed to actually get one of the alt arts which is definitely fantastic but we're going to only play three copies of this we don't really need too many of it if you want to add four, I'll tell you what you can take out later on, but uh, for the time being, it essentially allows you to just add any of your Grandmons or Gallantmons from your deck, and also your Takato as well, which is your Tamer for this particular deck. It's nice and all, it doesn't really have to be part of that core strategy there, so it's just that nice addition to it. But that being said though, you also, when attacking, get to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less, which kind of prevents that whole rookie rush this is something i've been experiencing in my current format or at least in my local area where people are playing digimon and to wrap up with the guilemon line at least i'm also going to be playing two copies here of our guilemon x antibody now this particular card here isn't as amazing as i thought it was i thought it was going to be a lot better uh, but in theory it worked out just in practice not so much Sure, it's going to be a zero cost if you digivolve it onto a Gaomon, however, it just doesn't really do much, you know. Ultimately, you're deleting another Digimon, sure, but a lot of your other cards can already do that. Fill in your deck with this particular card here when you could be filling it up with other cards instead. I don't know, this card just doesn't feel right for me, so... I'm playing it at 2, but I could readjust it a bit as well. It's just this format has been working well for me with just the two copies. And I believe there is one other Gaomon out there. I'm choosing not to play it. However, if I were to play it, I'd probably be taking out the two X antibodies for that particular uh, version of Gaomon as well. Now to wrap things up with our level 3s, we're going to be playing here two copies of the Argumon here. This card just gives your Digimon plus 1000 DP. Just a really good inherited effect, and again, it's something that's really necessary for decks that have a lot of uh, security damage dealing to your opponents. So, in this case, it works for War Greymon, but it also works for Gallantmon as well. And of course, that Argamon is the card that I would actually be taking out if you wanted to add the extra copy of the EX2 Guilemon as well. 
But with that being said, let's move on now to our level four uh, Digimon, and that is going to be mainly the Graumon line. So we're going to be playing here uh, three copies of our EX2 Graumon. Um, again, focusing more so on just deletion. I don't really have to go through the uh, singular effects just to get that out there. We're also going to be playing here two copies of Black War Graumon from EX4. I think this card is definitely a really interesting one. Uh, I think it works a lot better than the Gaumons from EX4. Uh, so with that being said, this one was actually worth playing for me in this particular deck. It just uh, had a lot more to offer compared to its uh, Gaumon companion. But with that being said, we're also playing uh, three copies of the Graumon from Starter Deck 7 of course. Uh, when your opponent's Digimon is deleted, just gain one memory. This one is just so much different from all the other Graumons. The other Graumons focus so much on deleting, or at least every other card in your deck is essentially just inherited effects or on play effects when Digivolving effects. All of those effects are focusing so much on just deleting your opponent's Digimon, but ultimately if you can like reward yourself for that, by gaining a memory as well, that's just an additional bonus that's uh, coming along with this particular deck. So I definitely really like this particular one in the deck itself. Uh, not enough for me to play four copies, but uh, at least enough for me to play three. But to wrap things up with the level fours, I'm going to be playing two copies of our Graumon X Antibody. Again, just allowing you to add more of your maximum DPs to delete more of your opponent's cards. Absolutely fantastic, and of course the Digivolve uh, reducing as well. Again, similar case, I'm not a big fan of the X Antibody card, so I'm trying to keep it to a minimum at 2 here. So now we're going to be moving on to the level 5s. So we're going to be playing 3 copies here of our War Graumon. When attacking, you also just get to delete one of your opponent's Digimon. That's a really powerful one, because this is every time it attacks. It's not necessarily on Digivolution or it's not necessarily on play so that's definitely fantastic however it's inherited is also really amazing when an opponent's digimon is deleted this digimon gains a security attack as well absolutely fantastic however i'm only playing three and that's because i'm trying to fit enough space to play two copies of the black war Graumon from EX4, definitely a really fantastic card here, uh, just works incredibly well for this particular deck. Uh, I'm also playing here three copies of Wargramon from EX2, this is again also a really nice card as well. You already noticed here that I'm not playing the Wargramon X Antibody, that's because like I said earlier, I'm just not a fan of the X Antibody line for the Graumon, Gaumon, War Graumon. Could be better, and I just feel like it was kind of lacking, so I didn't really want to incorporate it. Especially once we're up to level 5s, we have really limited spacing here. I don't want to fill it up with cards that don't really offer too much with it. And I feel like EX2 War Graumon already kind of does what the X Antibody ones would do but with the addition of being able to delete as well when attacking. So that's a bit more of a bonus. However, let's now move on to the level 6s. Now, very excitingly, for the level 6s, it's obviously going to be Gallantmon here. However, the question is, who are we using as our main Gallantmon line? I'm choosing the one from the starter deck. The starter deck one is just so self-explanatory. It already has that plus security attack. So if your attack succeeds, you're already going to be dishing out two damage onto your opponents. And with other effects out there that can allow you to gain more security attacks as well, you could finish the game really quickly here. But of course, every time it attacks, it also allows you to delete more Digimon that your opponent has. This is just such a simple strategy and yet it works incredibly well. And this is pretty much why I made it my primary Gallantmon in this particular deck. I know there was another one that had come out in uh, BT12 or BT13. I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was BT12, but I'm not too big a fan of that particular Gallantmon. I think you could build a completely separate deck uh, compared to this one here. So if I ever do get that card, I will build a separate deck for it. But I think uh, at least for my main strategy, I'm very content with this particular Gallantmon from the starter deck. It's just such an amazing card and it just does so much for the very little it has surprisingly. 
Now, I am playing a few other Gallant Mons as well, I'm just not playing four copies of it, just because they're not my primary ones. So, we have over here our Gallant Mon from EX2. This one is just convoluted, it just has too much going for it, and to revolve a strategy around it just doesn't work. Sure, it gets the 2000 DP anyway, so it's going to be a 14k, however, being a 14k DP and just winning one battle at a time, it's not fast enough. I need that security attack and the starter deck one's just a lot better. Also, while you have a red tamer, you add 2000 to the maximum DP based on your deletion. Again, it doesn't do much in this case compared to a lot of your other cards. Your starter deck one is still a lot better in this particular case. So ultimately, these effects here for this particular Gallantmon, it's just a bit too slow for me and I don't think it's a valid choice for a primary Gallantmon in any Gallantmon deck. If you're playing Gallantmon at all, I really disagree if you're choosing the EX2 version to be your primary attacker. I think it has to be either the starter deck one or it has to be the one from BT12 or BT13, whichever I could remember. But yeah. Next up, we're playing the one copy of Gallantmon from BT2. Now this one, similar case, I don't think this one is going to be a really good one to go into as well, because when digivolving, if you have a red tamer, you get to delete something, and when attacking, you also get to trash one of your opponent's security cards for every 10 cards in your trash. The issue is, you're playing a red deck. I think if this Gallantmon was incorporated with a purple deck, then that's where you actually would be gaining a lot of benefits out of that. And remember guys, we did talk about the uh, Black War Grailmon here from EX4. So that means we have the red and purple. So if you are building a red purple strategy, purple is significantly better at trashing cards. So it's very likely you'll be able to trigger off a lot more out of this here. However, that's more so this card is something I kind of save up for the late game, but to use this as a primary option, it just doesn't work. In theory, it sounds great, but in practice, absolutely not. You'll find it surprisingly hard to build up 10 cards in the trash, let alone 20 or 30, which, although it could trigger off this effect amazingly, it's not enough. And so ultimately, the starter deck Gallantmon is still remaining as the best version of Gallantmon to play as your primary. However, that being said, we do have one level 7 in this deck, and that is Gallantmon Crimson Mode. You only need to play one of these ones. It's also from EX2 as well. However, it is a very expensive card. It costs 6 to play when digivolving over level 6 as well, so I only want to play one of this. But that being said, when you're digivolving, you also get to just delete your opponent's Digimon with the highest DP. Absolutely fantastic. It's kind of like, save it up in your hand when that time is right. When attacking, you also get to trash the top card of your opponent's security stack for free. That's just a lot better. You also get to add 1 to the number of cards based on every 10 in your trash. So in the late game, you have 20 or 30, you get to trash additional cards on top of that. You can see how much this card is better than both the BT2 version and both the EX2 version. But that being said, given its expensive cost, I'm choosing to play one for the time being because this one is still the best out there. But that's essentially my Gallant Mon line. I find this to be the most successful out of all of them. And that's just the way I'm going to play here. The other versions of Gallant Mon uh, can be their own primary option. So if you wanted to play uh, either that BT12 or BT13, if anything, I think it was the EX4. I don't know why I was saying uh, BT12 or BT13 the whole time, but it was the EX4 Gallant Mon. Um, if you're choosing to play that version as the primary, then yeah, you could replace it with this particular Gallantmon, and that could work out instead, but at least for the time being, I so much love the whole uh, just going for the security attacks, and so this particular Gallantmon is uh, the one I would like to stick to uh, for the time being. But let's move on to the options now. We're just going to be playing something really simple here. It's going to be four copies of Takato. Uh, I don't really think anything much has to be discussed about this one. Uh, you also get Blitz, I guess, as the additional option with this particular Tamer. Uh, having Blitz is so powerful because if you have Blitz and you also have your plus security as well, 
think about how much damage you're able to do. But our final tamer, we're going to be playing uh, Yelay. Yelay is just really nice because you're always going to get one additional memory regardless of what happens because you're always going to have a red Digimon anyway most of the time. Uh, but yeah, you can also just uh, help with uh, deleting more of your opponent's Digimon. So again, slowing down their strategy and uh, gaining the most out of it. And now let's move on to option cards. We're going to start strong here with the two copies of Flame Memory Boost. Flame Memory Boost, well firstly it is a memory boost card which is great but giving one additional security attack onto your Gallantmon as well, that's three damage onto your opponent. And like I said, with the whole deck you've been increasing the DP of your actual Gallantmon. So you're not just attacking with an 11k, you're attacking with potentially a 14 or 15k Gallantmon out there with the re security attack as well. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's definitely a fantastic card to actually add to the deck itself. But I'm also going to be playing three copies of Red Memory Boost. We really need to be searching for our Gallantmon out there, our particular primary Gallantmon. So by going for that, Red Memory Boost is absolutely essential to searching out that particular card that you need. Now, of course, there are going to be very pesky cards or pesky Digimon that we can't deal with. And that's just something that we can't control. Um, in a manner of speaking because we can only delete Digimon with a certain number of DP What about the Digimon that have way too high of a DP? Well in that case, we're playing four copies of Gaia Force This essentially covers all the criteria of our particular issues here I've been focusing on just deleting all of our opponents lower level Digimon or low DP Digimon but anything that's already like 15k Heck, even 12 or 13k seems like such a crazy number to hit. So having Guy Force out there is definitely going to help. You can opt to play Dark Guy Force as well. Completely up to you. I'm just preferring Guy Force in this particular case. But ultimately, this is pretty much the whole deck. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one because this is a deck that I've been finding to be really fun. I tend to have the fastest games with this particular deck here. Not to say that I want the games to be faster, but because it's quick, it's simple, it's uh, just a really satisfying thing to actually have here. So yeah, definitely try out this build. If you guys have any suggestions, please do let me know. Uh, like I said, drop a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this particular video but uh, with that being said i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you all next time